Newport, George Gallman, where's George? There he is. And the mayor of Lena, Dennis Bergman. Where did Dennis go? Are you way up there, Dennis? And we've got Winnebago County Board Chairman Scott Christensen. Where does Scott go? Seventh town hall meeting that I've held since I was elected to the United States Senate, and you know it's something. It, it's probably my favorite job, uh, favorite part of being a senator, because you know all too often I think when folks get elected uh, to an office in Washington, uh, even with the best of intentions, after a while they start representing Washington to their constituents instead of representing their constituents in Washington. And one of the ways, one of the ways that uh, I can prevent that from happening uh, is to make sure that I'm accessible and I have a chance to speak to you directly. You know, this gives you a chance to lift up the hood, kick the tires, you know, see, what your, uh, see what your senator is about. It's also one of the best ways that I get good ideas for legislation because nobody knows better than you do what's going on in your day-to-day -day lives. And we have a lot of abstract ideological arguments in Washington, but you're the ones who are dealing with caring for a, a sick family member or trying to figure out how to save enough for college uh, or worrying about layoffs at the plant. And so for me to have an opportunity to listen to you and, and get ideas is, is absolutely critical. Now, uh, I have now been in office Almost two years, time flies. And, you know, people a lot of times ask me, is it what you expect? And I guess what, I, what I'd say is, in some ways, uh, it, it meets fully expectations. I, you know, when I walk into the Senate chamber, uh, you know, it's, it's a magnificent, you know, the Capitol itself is magnificent. You walk into the Senate chamber, and you really get a sense of you're, you're, you're part of history. In fact, there, there are these, uh, each senator gets a, a mahogany desk, and they're not very useful to actually work on. They're, they're sort of like third grader desks. Um, but some of them date back to 1819, and there's a tradition that in the drawer of each desk, uh, the previous occupants, the previous people who use the desk, scratch their names in their own hands. So if you open up the drawer on my desk, I don't know who the first person was who did this. You know, they were, you know, it was graffiti. They were, they were, uh, but, but it, it grew into tradition. And, and if you look in, in the drawer of my desk, you'll see names like Bobby Kennedy, and Paul Simon, and Paul Wellstone, and Robert Taft, and all these historical figures. And it, and it really gives you a sense of, of um, you know, it gives you a sense that you're, you're, you're part of this amazing experiment in democracy over the last 200 years. 